So, Hades is the Greek equivalent of the devil, right? Or was he the Greek equivalent of hell? Actually, neither. Because until you have a deity that represents all things good, and all things light and love, you can't have one that represents all evil. And in the Greek tradition, there is no god that's all good. Zeus is literally a menace to humanity. Pandora, Miss Hapasa, think of all the women he very casually graped. And Hades, as opposed to the adversary that is the Satan of the Old Testament, is Zeus's brother. And man's is ruler of the underworld. But the underworld isn't a pit of fire and torture like in the Christian imagination. It's literally just the underworld. It's where every mortal soul goes when they die. Unless they're related or have been chosen by the gods. In which case, they'll go to the Elysian Fields. But otherwise, it's just where we all end up. And Hades, being the more responsible of his siblings, is the one to take care of us. In fact, he provides for us. Because a really interesting thing that happens to Hades over time in Greek culture is that he gets conflated with Pluton, a god of riches and fertile crop. And given that Persephone becomes his wife, it's really interesting to see him connected with vegetation in that way. Because then the underworld becomes the literal underworld, or under-earth, from which spring forth the abundance and wealth of crops. And this is probably around the same time that the word Hades becomes associated with the place as opposed to the person. So where does the idea of hell come from? Because I'm sure most of us know that it doesn't come from the Bible. In fact, the word hell isn't attested in English until the 700s AD. That's after the rise of Islam. It's 400 years into a canonized Christianity. And like I said, it doesn't come from the Bible. It comes from Norse mythology. Because hell, like Hades, is a protector of the underworld, a world that shares her name. Yes, her name. And as a daughter of Loki, she was appointed by Odin to be the ruler of the underrealm. Appointed, as in it was an honor to be ruler of the third realm. And we see this in Persephone's story too. Because when Demeter goes to Helios to complain that Hades has stolen her daughter, Helios is like, Honestly, Demeter, I don't understand why you're upset. Hades is no bad fit for Persephone. I mean, he is king of the underworld, after all. He's your brother. He's literally a noble. Now, if you've been watching my Devil, Lucifer, Satan video, you should be starting to notice a trend by now. Before the Monodaddy Dogma, there was no such thing as absolute evil. And after Monodaddy Dogma, everything outside of him becomes evil. Muhammad becomes Baphomet, the horned goat of Mendes, a devil. The king of Babylon, prophesied to fall by Isaiah and compared to the morning star, the devil. The snake that accompanies almost every major deity in every ancient civilization, the devil. Hell, daughter of Loki, queen of the underworld, the devil. Are we starting to get it?